Good day, guys. There was recently a massive update to the Arc OS community image for the R36S handhelds, which greatly simplifies the screen checking process. As you know, previously, you used to have to upload the DTB file from your stock SD card to an online screen checking tool and hope that it found a match. Even if you did end up finding a match, you still had to manually copy or potentially download the correct screen panel files over to your boot partition. This new update removes most of that hassle and instead lets you use a button combination when powering on the handheld to change panel types. Once you've found the correct panel, it'll automatically save it. But if you are worried about accidentally pressing a wrong button combo while powering it on, you can completely disable this option so it can't be changed this way in the future. Downloading, extracting and writing the image is still the same and you also still have to complete the initial boot setup on the R36 handheld itself. So if the first time you write this image and put the SD card into your handheld, you get a black screen, just leave it on for about five minutes at which point you can hard power off the system, power it straight back on and use these button combos to select the correct panel type. Let's take a look and see how it works firsthand. So I've just written the latest version of ArcOS to this SD card. I've done nothing else. We'll pop it into the R36S and we'll power it on. This is the first time we're booting from the fresh install. So it does have to complete its setup process. And you can see it did automatically detect our screen. So it seems to be using panel four by default. But assuming that you have a black screen during all of this, you would just leave it on for around five minutes so it can finish. So it's completed its initial setup and we are back on the home screen. But again, we'll assume that we had a black screen during all of this and we have waited our five minutes. We'll hard power off the system by holding down the power button. I'm gonna keep holding it until the light goes off. There we go, the light's off. Now before we power it back on, I wanna hold down R1 and we'll try panel one, which is holding up on the D-pad. So with both of those buttons held, we'll power on the unit, keep holding them down. There we go. We should now be using screen panel one. So the device did power off by itself. We'll hold R1 again, and this time we'll hold down right for panel two, We'll power it on, still holding the buttons, nothing on the screen and it powered back off. So that is the wrong panel type. We'll go over to the next panel, which is panel three. So R1 and hold down on the D-pad, power it on. Let go of the power button as soon as the power light comes on. Still nothing on the screen, so that's the wrong panel type. This time we'll hold left, which is panel four, and this should be the correct panel for this handheld. So hold down R1 as usual, hold down left, we'll power it on, and we should hopefully get something on the screen. We've got some faint lines, and then it turned back off. So that's not quite the right panel. We'll try panel five, soy sauce, so hold down R1 and X, power on the device. There we go, we've got something on the screen this time. So it's powered back off. And although the GitHub page mentions R1 and X being panel five, the soy sauce variant, something must be slightly wrong since this is the panel four version. I'll power it on normally now without holding any other buttons and it should save our panel file and everything should work again. So we are back into ArcOS. We'll power it back off and just make sure it does still work. Go shut down system, power it back on. And it does still boot. If you're worried, you might accidentally hold a button combination while powering it on. You can disable the panel picker. To do that, we'll power it back off. And to, and to disable it, we want to hold R1 as normal, along with volume down. With both of those held in, power it on. We've got some stuff on the screen, and we're back into ArcOS. So that should now be disabled if we power it off once more. And this time we'll power it on holding R and up, which was an incorrect screen panel type. And we'll power it on. Hopefully nothing happens and it does still boot into ArcOS. And it has. We're back on the ArcOS menu. Overall, this is a massive update and it's definitely going to save a lot of new R36S users a lot of time. It also seems to be using panel four by default, which I believe currently is the most common screen panel type. I'm not too sure if there's a typo over on the GitHub page where it mentions the button combos while booting it on. Since this is a panel four device, but for some reason panel five, the soy sauce variant, according to the button combo is what worked. It's really not too important though, since once you try all the button combos and find a working screen file for you, it does save it for future reboots. I think that'll do it for today. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.